In today's video, I want to discuss with you about snail problems in orchids that are newly purchased. Here we have four orchids that I recently got from Secret Garden, and uh, some of them are in uh, better condition than others. So I will start from here, from the left. This is my Bellara Joyce drum, and um, she has nails. Well, um, the way to actually see and uh, realize if an orchid has snails even without seeing them, it is by taking a very, very close look at the root system. We can see here that the roots are munched off and they stopped growing quite suddenly. And uh, it is very, very important to know the signs because snails can actually kill orchids if they get undetected for uh, extended periods of time. They munch off root after root until uh, the orchid depletes from energy. Now, um, this process will take a lot, a lot of time and you don't need to panic when you see a snail. I consider actually to be even more important to report an orchid when it is the proper time, meaning when the orchid is sending out new roots from the newest suitables. Right here I have my Brageara Nelly Eilar and uh, she has this new shoot here and this one here. This is not uh, the right size yet to produce new roots, but this one is and I am quite sure that there inside the medium she is pushing up uh, some newer roots. And uh, this would be a good time to report this particular one, but I am waiting for her to finish up the blooms. I am saying that it is uh, so important to actually uh, time the moment when you report, because if you do that, the orchid will, will be less stressed. And your orchid will grow more vigorously than uh, if you would have reported at the wrong time. Usually, the roots from the orchid are... Um, adapted to the medium they have grown in and uh, when you will report it, the roots will die or at least a good part of them. So, uh, for example, let's take this one. It is my new Sherry Baby, very, very beautiful orchid. I will uh, do a care tutorial for it, but um, we can see that it is very, very healthy and it has a lot of roots. If I would take right now this orchid and put it in semi-hydroponics, I would say about 80% of the roots would die. That would stress a lot the orchid and uh, the next growth will be smaller. We don't want that and um, I will actually wait for the orchid to send out new roots until I will report it. So, one of my uh, first ways to actually control snails inside orchid pots without reporting it because we don't want to disturb the plant it is to firstly soak the orchid pot in hydrogen peroxide three percent that will kill all the snails and snail eggs that uh, exist in uh, that pot but if we have any air pockets those would protect the snails and um, we may still have uh, some um, snail problems it might actually be that the hydrogen peroxide won't reach every single crevice. So, um, the second thing that I am doing after I soak them in hydrogen peroxide, it is to actually add some uh, snail pellets inside each pot. Of course, as I said, these won't stay for a, a lot of time inside the pot and uh, if a snail or another bug um, goes here on the top of the medium and the slimes onto the, the snail pellets, they will die. This is actually poison for them. So, um, I know by experience that uh, they do not harm orchid roots nor uh, the orchid uh, itself. So, I am using it uh, very safely this way and um, this is the best I can do um, and the most cost efficiently that I can do for my orchids to try to prevent them from uh, getting um, munched off roots until I get to report them. So alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if this is the first time you are watching a video on my channel, please consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date with all my orchid videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!